Hey everybody, it's Drew. I'm not even gonna really edit this video. I'm just going to get straight to the point because <laughs> uh, I'm really irritated about this. Ugh. Okay, so if you are, <laughs> pro tip, if you're a mailbox, actually, if you're a post office delivery person, if you're a mail person, uh, to be politically correct these days, uh, and you see something like this, this is not meant to be bent. Cl clearly, look at the construction on this, right? This is not meant to be bent. If you're following my Twitter feed, you saw that I posted a picture of what this appeared like at, in my mailbox. It was, it was like bent like that. Actually, no, it was, it was this side. It was bent like that. And I, <laughs> pro tip, if you buy comics uh, and you have a small mailbox, then you may just actually want to go ahead and get a P.O. box, which is what I've done. And I've, I got a P.O. box so that this no longer happens. I also got a P.O. box because some of you people out on the internet are crazy, and some of you people running crowdfunding campaigns are crazy. So even though I'll buy your book, I don't want you to know <laughs> where I live <laughs> specifically. But uh, but this, this drives me insane. So I got this. I, I ordered... Geiger number one, right? Geiger number one, cover A, it's 00111, right? Cover 111. Because I like to get the main covers and I bought the book off the counter at a local comic shop that I go to. I go to several. Uh, but I, I bought one and it was the uh, glow in the face uh, skull cover. So it was the close up of Geiger himself. And then I found out, much to my chagrin later on, that wasn't the main cover. Then I found out the main cover is kind of hard to get. It's a little bit expensive. So I went on eBay and I got two uh, versions of, the, I, I actually got two copies of it. Now, pro tip, if you're buying on eBay, make sure you read the description because the first one I got said not guaranteed to be 9.8. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. But then I got it and sure enough, there's a little bit of a crease here in the corner. So I was like, that's okay, that's fine, there's no problem. I got a second one coming and this was the second one and it came in this because this SOB did this to, to my comic book. I'm like, why would you do that, right? I mean, look at the construction. This is a Gemini mailer. It's like the, con it's like the Cadillac of mailers. Look at this board. This is the board that, th this is what happened to the board after they, they crammed this thing into the mailbox after they bent this. Why would you do that? So we have like a bit of a bend right here. I mean, I guess I could press it and we'd be fine, but that's beside the point. I mean, like, yeah, it didn't, it, it, okay, yeah. All right, yeah, so it, it's got like a bend right here. And I guess I could, like I said, I, I could press it, but that's, be <laughs> that's beside the point. Uh, I had to leave the door open and just stare at the sky for like a solid minute to not like flip out. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you know, those, one of those rabbit chimpanzees, but, uh, but yeah, no, I was, I was upset. So yeah, go ahead and get yourself like some kind of mail delivery, uh, thing where you tell them what to do. But frankly, you know, I, I'm not going to trust that. I'm not going to, because they might have like, you know, someone on their, uh, on, on, on a fill in day show up and not read those instructions and say, Hey, here, here's a book that I can't get in the box. Let me just bend it up here. Rawr! Like they're a freaking rabid Muppet or something like that. <laughs> and then wreck your book. So, yeah. So I'm going to probably have to buy this book again. Because I, I think the insurance covers lost mail. But I don't believe it covers damaged uh, products. So, I don't know. But it's 15 bucks. I don't know if I really want to waste the time to go up there. You know, I'm sure that uh, a lot of people would. But, you know, I just have a P.O. box. I'm just going to start sending it to the P.O. box. So... Anyway, so while we're here, Geiger Number One by Jeff Johns, Gary Frank is a pretty good book. So it's about this dude who survives a nuclear blast and becomes kind of like a uh, an urban legend, uh, Yeti, Sasquatch kind of figure out in the desert, and uh, it's it's pretty cool. I pretty I, I dig it. Jeff Johns writes very well. The art is beautiful. Gary Frank, when he actually draws things, is nice instead of being on Twitter complaining about politics. But uh, yeah, no, get, go ahead and get it. Uh, Geiger, it's image number one. I had no idea it was coming out because, you know, I don't pay attention to these things. I just walk into the shop and I say, oh, this is new. Let me go buy this. 
So, you know, they always give you these, these mailers. Hey, what's new in comics? And I'm like, trash. <laughs> straight to the, re oh, excuse me, straight to the recycling bin. That's right. So, yeah. In summary, Geiger number one, read it, go buy it. And don't let this happen to you. All right. Oh my, let's, let's see. Ah, yeah. Thanks for watching Comics with Drew. I'm Drew. I'll catch you next time.